Also, Mally Boom is about to go live in 45 minutes. He's gonna be touring parks, and I'm hoping that I can get in and that he can replace this very statue right here because that'd be kind of cool. He doesn't tour parks that often. But all right, let's go check out the next park. What do we got? Hello, this is my dream park. I started this a few days ago. Oh, wait, this is not me. Oh. Um, he's ran off over there. The statue's here. Malibuma over here. here. Over here, Malibuma. It's right here, right here. This one. There we go. I mean, it's it's fair. I did say in the first episode, that'll soon be like Timon or Malibuma or Coasty. Whatever they tour my park. But whoever's first. Mm -hmm. So, he's riding the wooden coaster right now. Let's see what he thinks of it. I can't even get on it myself. I'm so slow. I'm so yeah. slow. Bro, you're so slow. Bro, what do you mean I'm slow? Bro, what do you mean? <laughs> well, uh, I think you're mad. I think you're mad. Not, not gonna lie, I do actually okay. quite like this coaster. I'm not entirely sure what we should theme it around, though. That's where I lay it there. Oh, I think he's gone. He's gone. He's out of here. Oh, oh okay. We got the statue. Cool. Oh, and I'm gone. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this one here. <laughs> I waited so long. <laughs> <gasps> so long. At least I'm now friends with Malibu, man, which is cool. Welcome to episode four of the Dream Park series. In the last episode, we built what you see right here. A big old canyon to fit our newly made water coaster. And I want to put that in bold. Water. Uh, in between episodes, I, I remembered that this is a water coaster. Not a mine train coaster or anything like that. Which would, I think, probably fit the theme canyon more. So I think what we need to do in today's episode is actually add some water. So that it makes a bit more sense that this is a water coaster, you know? And not only that, I want to extend all the way over here and build up this area right here. Just like we did with this area right here. But just over there. Of course, with its own unique, you know, theme. But as well, we actually have a train track going straight over the top of the coaster. So I, we, it's going to be interesting how we incorporate that in. But anyway, you saw the intro correct. We go over here. Mally Boomer is literally just chilling in our park now. I waited quite a while to join his live stream. Finally got in and got his statue. Also, at the time of recording, Kosi, another theme park tagging to creator, as you may or may not know, has made a website for theme park part time to blueprints free to use by the way and he has kindly given me my own page on the website the only way i know how to get to it as of right now is by using a link in the description i think it's theme part time to.com forward slash not me and that page will have all the blueprints that i've ever made and uploaded to the workshop and after i record this video i think i will try and upload a few more blueprints so yeah thank you so much cozy for doing that that's that is really cool but anyway we need to continue building the theming for this ride and the first thing we need to do is extend the ground floor all the way over there at the time of recording episode so three hasn't dropped, and I don't know how you guys liked the time that's music or not. Uh, too bad, I'm gonna play it anyway. And around 40 minutes later, this is what it's looking like. Nothing too crazy. As you can see, I've added some water here because I did mention that I wanted to add some water. We got this tunnel piece here, which is supposed to look like where the water is actually coming from. And then we just got this tiny little bit going over here. Makes it look a bit more interesting and separates it from this area over here. I was thinking maybe we could add some water going through here. I don't want to destroy this really nice looking terrain. So I'm not sure about that just yet. And also somewhere on this ride, I want to add, you know, the classic canyon terrain with the, the two canyon bits of the water in the middle. I have no idea where to add that yet though, or if I even can. Now over here, I've had the idea to do yet another stump, but this time make it a bit different. And what I mean by that is probably make it a bit more wider and actually have it holding up the train track. And I hope it doesn't look too squashed by the track. But we'll see how it turns out. So let's whack the guide in the middle. And let's see what we can do just by doing a gradual, once again, a gradual slope like we did with the last one. Something like that. You yeah, get that work work i don't know okay that looks good but what i wanted to do was either we can have two or one big one but i think one big one wouldn't work and it would just look a bit too top heavy which isn't what i want so i'm gonna try and maybe add two if the game will let me so one just there and an another just like that boom there we go why is casty saying no 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 what i don't know what casty's saying what's what's wrong about them being next to each other casty not saying anything okay okay you're making me a bit worried now How 
How do you not see it? See what? I don't see what you're seeing. And now, I, I was thinking we could add something in the water, but I'm not sure what. First thing that came to mind was like cattails or something. Uh, that, I think that fits more for a river. I will yoink some of these spikes and maybe we can... Oh, maybe we can actually put them in the water. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna put one there. That's for sure. But one in the water would be pretty sick. Build... Okay, there's too many items. Yeah, never mind, guys. There we go. We're able to put one here. Let's add some scenery. Once again, we're gonna use these dead bushes. Bushes. Oh man, every time I add these trees in, they look so good. But now we've got to add these dead bushes everywhere. I also want to add some new details over here. And I was thinking the new piece that I wanted to add could be in the water. I'm not sure what canyon water. I'm not sure what actually goes in canyon water. If anything, maybe just moss? Yeah, I think there's just a whole bunch of moss along the outskirts. So I think I'm just going to add a whole bunch of moss in. And how I'm going to do that is probably, hmm, I could. This is actually might be a great use of the bushes. The flat bushes. Yes. I'm going to do it the same color as these. Oh my, yeah, that's going to work greatly. All right, I've just gone around the entire place adding all this moss in. And I'm thinking it's looking pretty cool. Also, I hate when you scroll out so far and the water turns this to this blue. Talking about the color of the water, actually. I need to grab myself a water alterator, or, or however you say that. Maybe just plonk it right there. And using this, this will allow us to change the color of the water. And as you can see here, if I change it to white, boob, it's white. If I change it to black, it's black. If I change it to red, it is red. <laughs> that looks so weird. All right, it is uh, gonna be a sort of, is it like this? this oh, that's a real interesting color. I might make it a tiny bit darker though. Ooh, does that work? Maybe a bit brighter than that. Yeah, I like this. I wanted that murky green, like it's been, you know, natural and dirty. That makes the water look a lot less uh, tropical. Now that I've added all the scenery, what I wanna do now is build the train track bridge. And I wanna do your classical wooden bridge. So it's got a little bit of a thing going on in. And I'm gonna need to get a, <laughs> a picture of a wooden bridge. Something that looks a little bit like this that you're gonna see on screen right now. As we're not too far off the ground. So we don't need one of those massive ones. And I'm just gonna make one of them and then I'm just gonna copy and paste it a bunch. So it's got this bit that's holding up the track and it's got a bit lower than that. Rotated around. It actually kind of like two parts like this. Just like that. And then we grab the cylinder and then angle it and then extend it. So it looks something like this or actually something like that maybe. I'm gonna paint it a bit more of a grayer color. And then we just need to copy and paste them one like there and then we can rotate this a bit so like that and there we go that's perfect all i'm gonna do is copy and paste it i'm obviously gonna need to copy and paste the pattern down but that shouldn't be a problem so shall we head into yet another time lapse i think so let's go Don't stop. That wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it would be. I am loving how this is starting to look. It's looking just how I envisioned it to. I love these old wooden railroad bridges. And I've like, that. this is so cool. Here's another angle of them and I think they look so cool. Look at the train go down. I mean the coaster even. Isn't that called a train though? I don't get it. Why is this called a train right here? When that's a train? Coasters, man. But one thing that I don't know is what I should do right here. The transition between the station and the canyon biome or the mesa biome. Over here I put like this big Victorian thing. Not sure if I would keep it. That definitely looks cool for now. Maybe I could have like a water tanker. Nope, I'm pointing that for something else. I think actually a water tower could be really cool right here. I might actually do that now. But yeah, do let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think I should add right here that would fit in between these two sort of uh, styles of building. But from this angle, it's oh, that looks so cool. All right, anyway, like I just came up with on the spot, a water tower would be really cool. And this is like the only open space which I didn't know what to do with. In the back of my mind, I was thinking and like, oh, maybe we could have like an abandoned shack here or something. That would still be a pretty cool idea, but I feel like that's just pretty generic to any abandoned biome thing. Like a swamp, you could have a, an abandoned hut. A forest, a snowy area, literally anything. So, let's get to it. All right, I've got a very specific one on the other side of my screen right here, and it is indeed a wooden one, because I feel like it just fits in with the wooden bridge and any other wooden buildings that we will add here, you know? I'm not sure how tall we could have it. We could have it probably up to here, and then it'll just 
just be about that tool, the actual tank at the top. Then let's grab a cone and actually make it look like the rings around the water tower. That looks really cool. I think it's going to be something like this color. That should do quite nicely. Then at the top, I'm obviously going to make it. So if you do look at it at the top, it's not just a wooden box. Um, I think I might as well make it a, a weird tealy blue color, but make it maybe glacier. That works. Glacier or foil are the normal ones we go with. Or foil, I'm not sure. Foil looks pretty good. Sand. Sand is a good one. Yeah, I'm going to go with sand. Because sand looks a bit more like still water. Now I just need to make the base of it. How about something like that? Yeah. Then just going to add a border to it as well. Just to give it a bit more depth and detail. Now comes the much more trickier part, which is the support pillars. I want to make sure these look good. That actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, that's how it's just looking with four. And it's got a lot more than four, so we need to add a few more ones. So there we go. That's fixed. In the reference image, they have some sort of like metal wire going around. I was wondering if we could do like maybe a, a similar thing of chains instead because we have no metal wires. Yeah, actually that works. Not all around it, of course, but maybe have like a tint of dark red just to give it a sort of a rusty vibe. I'm going to add it to the other side as well. I think with this just tiny little pipe in the middle and we can change that to maybe a, a darker metal color like that. Yeah, this is looking pretty cool. That is the water tower done. So what I need to do now is just group it all together and just whack it down on the ground here. I think here should be all right. And to finish off this episode, I'm just going to finish placing the scenery around this area right here. And I think with those final pieces of scenery placed, that's going to be it for today's episode. We've pretty much finished this entire section right here of the ride, which I'm really happy with. I'm going to wait until this episode is released to see what you guys say about this bit here. I'm not sure what to do right there. Transition the two places. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. And uh, yeah, see ya.